hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be making a full face of new makeup tutorial if you want to see what products i'm using then stay tuned as you can see i have a bunch of stuff to test so we better get going so first thing first i have a brow product so this is brow ultra slim from maybelline and this is in the in the shade dark oh sorry deep brown this is how it looks like and also has a spoolie so i will do my brows with this all right This is fine, the color seems, so ni seems nice. Next I have a concealer and this is from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Light Ivory. And I'm gonna use this to carve my eyebrows and also as an eyeshadow base. I'm gonna use this. So I'm really curious how this will perform. Yeah, I think it's alright. Uh, I've noticed just a bit of a patchiness in here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But I will check how it will actually be with the eyeshadow on. Because I know normally you shouldn't use a concealer on your eyelid. You should use an eyeshadow base. Because I don't have a new one. I will just test this on the lid to actually see how it is. I normally don't have oily lids, so it should be fine. For the eyeshadow palette, I'm using this one. From Revolution in collaboration with Self, and this is how it looks like. I'm gonna start with this shade in here. I can don't know how is it called. It's just a dark brown, and I'm gonna use this in my outer V. And I'm also gonna use this shade in here. This lighter brown on top. I think I'm gonna combine these two. Yep. So this and this, I'm just gonna combine them because they're a bit. The other one is too dark and that one is too light. I'm gonna do tapping motions first. And I'm taking another brush and I will be using a more lighter shade, so I'm going to use this one in the corner in here. Center part of my lid. I'm going to go with this shade in here, this cute coppery gold. For my brow bone, I'm going to use this really light bone type of color. Okay, so I'm going to go and finish the other eye off camera and I will be right back for the rest of the face. I have a primer and this is from MUA and it's Pro Base Moisturizing Primer. Feels quite hydrating, has like a minty smell. Okay, next we have this foundation, it's from Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, and this is in the shade Nude. And hopefully, this will not be too dark for me. Probably it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too dark, so I'll just have to mix it with my NYX drops. So hold on a second. Yeah, much better now. Okay, feels nice on the skin, quite comfortable. Okay guys, so I can see it's quite a sheer to medium coverage because you can see, still see some spots. But the foundation feels nice on the skin. 
You can see one here. Yeah, it feels nice. Quite hydrating. It's just a lighter cover that I usually go for. So next I have to try this L'Oreal Unfable Pomade Concealer. Uh, I bought this as a corrector because it's in the shade Peach and has quite an orangey shade. So let's see. I'm going to use a concealer brush. I'm going to take the smallest amount and do my under eyes. I'm just going to concentrate where I usually have the more darkest area. For concealer I'm using again the Wet n Wild, the one I used on my lids. Um, I've noticed this dries out quite quickly so probably I have to move quite quick. Um, it doesn't have like full coverage like my uh, Revlon one has. It seems alright, that it seems to cake, so it dries down, down and seems to stay put so yeah, I'm happy with that next I have a powder that I want to try for a long long time so this is the air spoon from Coty uh, and it's translucent extra coverage this is the shade so I'm um, it's huge you have like a huge amount in here and what I've noticed it doesn't have like a screw in cap it just you have to pick this up and it make, can make quite a mess but I'll try to be careful and just, you know, use my whatever powder is left in here. And has quite a perfumey smell. Hopefully this is the original because I have no idea how it should smell. It smells florally sweet. Kind of like a... Um, grandma's makeup or something I don't know how to explain it but yeah it, it looks flawless under the eyes I mean love it it's not uh, like it didn't cake it actually blurred out like wrinkles and everything I have underneath my eyes yeah I'm surprised I'm not mad at all at this powder I mean it performed beautifully um, even if you have like to swell it in your pan this is huge and you don't make like a, a lot of mess like you usually do because this is also like high enough and wide enough so you can take your powder and then you can just put it back in because as I'm telling you this is quite a mess but it's really nice and even if it smells quite strongly probably is not perfect for sensitive skin but the smell doesn't bother me and my skin doesn't really react to more scented type of makeup so I actually like it next I have a blush this is from Rimmel London called Maxi Blush and this is the shade Sweet Cheeks and it's quite a peach type of tone because I'm not really into really pink tones more like neutral ones and I want to see how this wood is pigmented yeah it's, it's quite nice I don't mind okay moving on I have a bronzer and this is from body collection this is in the shade pink sand I hope it's not too dark for me I don't know Seems alright. Okay, next I have another product, uh, another brow product that I left till the end because I need to set my brows. And alright, it's not too pigmented, which I like because you can build it up. So it actually gives a, a, not touch, a nice touch to the brow. Ok, 
Okay, moving on to the lips, I have a huge lip liner, and this is from what are you? From Wet and Wild. It's quite creamy. And for the lipstick, I have one from Sleek, and this is the shade My Boo. And it's quite a nude pink. This that feels nice and comfortable. So yeah. I really like like this one. But I wanna apply some concealer as well and see how it how it looks. Okay, moving on, I have a lip liner I wanna test. This is from Soda, I've ordered it recently from Beauty Bay and these are some really good stickers on it. Okay, so this is the eyeliner. Seems alright. Um, with this type of eyeliners, it always dries quickly um and it doesn't dry matte but every single eyeliner like this i tried i i think the formula is, is the same next i have to try the mascara from maybelline new york and this is sky high this is quite new mascara on the market and this is how the wand look like This is how it looks like. The one is pretty flexible and comfortable. So yeah, I think I have like really short and straight lashes. So this actually works good for me. Okay, next is this setting spray from Ofra. And it's called the Makeup Fixer. It's a huge bottle. It has eight fluid ounces, so 240 millilitres. Um, I've tested this before on my Beauty Bay haul and it smells amazing. It's just the sprayer is a bit aggressive, so I have to keep it quiet. But yeah, it smells amazing. I mean, I, I, I really love it. And it makes, I don't know, it seems that set everything in place. I don't know. It has, has like um, just a bit of dewiness, but not a huge difference. So this shouldn't make your makeup feel dewy. It just says um, a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day. So this is basically for a long lasting makeup. And last but not least, I have these eyelashes from Kiss. This is in the shade 11. I bought this a while ago, but I never got a chance to use them. So... I'm really curious how they perform. It comes in a pack of five and they seem wait, I can take them off. They seem really slim. I mean they don't have like a big band. So I'm gonna apply this and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I cannot believe how comfortable are these lashes and I haven't tried it till now I mean what's wrong with me I haven't I have them in I had them in the drawer for so long and they were so easy to apply they have like your eye shape I didn't have to trim them but they were perfect like the length and everything and they are so so comfortable I mean I literally love them have you tried any of the products I would really like to know and that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for a video or actually two every week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.